Yes, we are launching a civic education program on the 1st of August this year. And this is going to take us right into elections. We believe that there are some issues that we would like to raise with the general public and to remind them about their civic duties as they relate to the electoral work of our nation. My name is Gavin Gibson and I'm the registering officer for this constituency. I register persons 18 years and over who are eligible for a national identification card or something to call the voter's card or the green card. My name is Gemma Adams, the registering officer for Union Island. Union Island is part of the constituency of the Southern Grenadines. I'm Julian Alexander Lewis, the registering officer for the island of Canawan in the constituency of the Southern Grenadines. I am Albert Harry, assistant registering officer for the constituency of South Greenwood. South Greenwood is a constituency consisting of uh, many villages, such so as Cedars, Bayabu, Spring, Yambu. Argyle, Stubbs, Victoria Village, Carpon, Argyle, Diamond, etc. We are performing a civic duty according to the law of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We are supposed to register all persons, Vincentian nationals, 18 years and over. They must reside in a constituency for six months, continuously. In addition to that, we must also register all Commonwealth citizens who have lived, who have resided in St. Vincent and the Grenadines for 12 consecutive months. They too must be 18 years or over, and they must also reside in a constituency for six months. So that is our task and we carry, that's our civic duty and we, we need to do that. Charles Samuel, the registering officer. The villages that I have to deal with are places like Billum, Fair Hall, Glen, Belmont, Calderidge, Enums, McCarthy, Brighton, Belvedere, Diamond, Choppins, Belmont, Amini Hall, Rattamill, Prospect, and Kelly Farm. There will be some other names like Le Morgan, but different people call different places by different names. But more or less, those names will cover the villages in the constituency of East St. George. start registrations on at 3 30 and we end at 5 30. we do that on mondays and wednesdays first week we are caring for the second week in fair hall third week in belmont and the fourth week will be at brighton to do your registration you need your board certificate and a copy of the board certificate the marriage certificate and also a copy of the marriage certificate. When persons come to me, I conduct an interview with them to establish exactly where they're living. And as our supervisor of election will usually tell us, Mrs. Dora James, when you're in doubt, check it out. So what we do is we make sure that we interview persons properly and make sure that we register them in the proper constituency. Now, of course, there are challenges that we face. There are some persons who will go and they will tear down a schedule. There are some persons too, after registering, do not come and pick up their ID cards. In my possession here, I have approximately 80 ID cards here. And these, some of these ID cards are actually going to expire on me this year because I've had them for the last 10 years. 
So some persons do not come back with their ID card. Some persons do, when their ID card is expired, they will come to me and they will say, Mr. Gibson, everything is on this ID card. I would say, yes, well, show me your mother's maiden name. So they would say to me, you know, I can tell you that. But I said, no, 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 I want to see it in black and white. So you need to get your original birth certificate and the photocopies. So proper documentation is always necessary when I'm doing this work. Of course, there are too many persons too who would come and ask for a replacement ID card. Some persons just lose their ID cards like that and they come up for a replacement. But on the positive side, the electoral office must be highly commended for providing all the necessary resources, materials, all that I have here, they're provided by the electoral office and they must be highly commended for that. Also, for accepting phone calls, sometimes when we have a difficulty or we need some information like say change of residence, you know, the, the, the office is there. When you do any registration here, I would forward them to the cameraman who would take a photograph. We produce the ID card and we find a lot of people take that for granted. It is no cost to them, they come, they get the card and sometimes we find in less than a year people are coming for another card. For some reason you might ask, where's your card or what happened to your card? It lost. I don't even know. And so they take it for granted. And additionally, we had a voters education program that we started in April 2019. And we spoke to the fact that, you know, your, your card expire after every 10 years. Yet there are a number of persons who don't pay attention. And so they would go into the business and come and say, um, I come for a piece of paper because I just find out my card expire. So we think we need to remind persons and especially the younger folks. We also find that they turn up when they want a job or they're going to travel and they turn up and need an immediate card. Snap their finger, instantly they must have an ID card. So we need to speak to them, break it down so that they understand that they need an ID card, not just for voting, because sometimes they say, I am coming for a card, but I don't want to vote. Or I didn't come for a card because I'm not going to vote. So they need to understand the card is not just for voting, the city need it, they use it at the bank, they go to MoneyGram, and it is yet for them to be to for them to use to identify themselves. My name is C. Troy Wills, photographer for constituency of South Windward. A range of villages challenges that I would have faced with photographing applicants, I figured because of the many years prior, the challenges have become less because more and more people are becoming familiar with code of dress. That used to be one of the major problems. The code of dress, no armpit. So you can use pests and all that. But we still have a problem with the white t-shirt or white shirt. You better wear something colored that the camera would pick it up other than your complexion. So we are getting past those challenges which were more frequent in other time. Now as it relates to the younger ones, well it's not really so much a challenge. You understand young people, they always want to look the best. So you end up having to try to accommodate them, let them be at peace by taking the snap three and four times. And you have a laugh at it sometimes too, because they're shy, they burst out laugh while you're snapping. So that is not so much a challenge, really. But then it's an addition to your work. And when there are many applicants waiting, that cannot be afforded. So sometimes some of them are dissatisfied. But nevertheless, I think it is smooth. One of the problems that we would have is the centers wearing when it's dark, all right, with the flash. And so oftentimes you may have to retake a snap more than once to get the better lighting. But generally, 
you enjoy the work and if those who came to snap do get a laughter sometimes looking at their photo because I'll snap and then show them and all goes well for the time being all goes well. The, on the first is emancipation day we are celebrating um, so using that period for um, the, the launch we just felt it would be nice to celebrate and wear all African outfits. As, if, as you said, the last Friday before um, Emancipation Day. So why not? Why not ask our um, nationals to join with us as we launch, as we go forward in launching this program. Join us in celebrating this activity and also celebrating, celebrating the period. Additionally, our theme for the launch is it takes you me, all of we, to sustain our democracy. And the speaker will speak on a historical um, journey as it relates to the, the whole issue of voting. So because of history, we ask that they join us in wearing whatever outfit they have, whether they want to wear totally or top or pants or tie, whatever they have. We're not going to put them in expense, but we want to blanket our nation on that day in African way. Yeah.